Welcome to the Disability Data Hub. This research tool is brought to you by the Arizona Developmental Disabilities Planning Council and Arizona State University. This video will go over how to use the Disability Data Hub. It's an interactive map full of great information. So let's get started. If you want to navigate the data using a keyboard, select the speech bubble icon in the top right corner and that's where you'll find some keyboard accessibility instructions. Screen reader information is at the bottom of the hub's home page here, right here. All right, so there are six categories of information you can review by clicking the circle icons. Demographics, education, housing, transportation, employment, and income. Disability data is one of those topics where it's really important to define just what we mean when we talk about disability. So make sure to check out our definition by hovering over the eye icon on the hub's home page. Let's choose the demographics category, which looks like an upward arrow on a chart. So this entire tool was created on the Tableau platform. It allows us to use this graphic image of Arizona, and you can see the 15 counties here. We'll be able to look at statistics based on statewide and county data, and it's all going to provide a picture of the disability experience in Arizona. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit here. Um, Perfect. Okay, so you'll notice these four dots. Some of these categories, including demographics, have multiple subgroups that you can browse. Um, you can click through them. Demographics has four subcategories. We get into the gender and age data. Um, I believe there are also, yep, race and ethnicity data sets. And then finally, we have some data around disability type, which is actually really helpful. So let's stop here for a moment. Let me show you around how this works. So you can select a county. Let's scroll down. Let's select Mojave. All right, so we've selected Mojave County and it has adjusted, this tool has adjusted to show us the total population we also have the percentage of the population, which identifies as having any of these six different types of disabilities. Now, if I hover over this bar for hearing difficulty, it's going to provide me a tool tip. Now, before pulling these percentages, I always encourage people to look at these tool tips. It explains what you're looking at, it puts it into context, in fact, let's just read this one out loud. In 2015, 6.3% of individuals with disabilities living in Mojave County reported having a hearing difficulty. Now, 2015 was a while ago, so the cool thing about this tool is that I can scroll up, I can change the year, I can go all the way to 2019, the latest year that information is available as of this video, it's going to adjust. Oh, wow, look at that. Mojave's population grew during that time. We now have 204,000 people. We now have 7.1% of people who are reporting having a hearing difficulty. So as you can see, this is a really cool tool. Um, we start with the Arizona statewide data. Then we come down to the county data. I can go to Coconino. I can go to Pima. There's really lots of options here. All right, so moving on, if I wanna go back to that main menu, um, I can click menu, super easy. All right, now I'm back to the circle icons. Let's click on employment. Employment is another category that has subgroups, but not all of them do. I just want to reiterate that you can click through these dots to get more data. This is really helpful, especially if you're comparing year over year and um, if you need some percentages. Now remember everything below, um, below the county bar here, the, the, this bar that 
illustrates, okay, what county we're in. This is all going to be data that applies to people with disabilities. So I'm going to hover over this bar to get a tooltip. There we go. I can also look at the tooltips in the statewide data. Let's go back to the menu. I want to click on housing now. Now housing is a bit of a unique section. The housing data for, you know, all of the Arizona residents combined is pretty limited when we talk about individuals with disabilities. So we've included the data for the Phoenix, Mesa, Scottsdale metro area. That is the only data we could uh, get access to. Um, and it measures this in two year increments. So we have 2015, 2017, and 2019. Again, you'll have the, um, let's choose 2017. You'll have uh, the tooltip here. For housing, it's really important to hone in on this. Again, because of the limited nature of the, of the um, actual information, and you may see, hey, this is kind of low. Only 1,686 housing units were available. This is actually in thousands. So you could read this as 1.6 million 860,000. So that's an important aspect of this housing section. So one really cool feature, if you scroll down, are these little icons on the bottom. Yeah, so these are actually ways to share this entire data set with someone. If you'd like to download it, that's an option as well. This is a cool feature if you want to capture one of these charts for an article or a report and you simply need that graphic of a specific chart, that's a really great way to do it. And then this is an option to take this entire tool to full screen. If you scroll up, you'll notice we have a sidebar. This has helpful data links you may be interested in, including more information about navigating this whole tool with your keyboard, um, the actual sources for a lot of this data, which is the census, some information about disability statistics from Cornell, and some web, web accessibility information as well. Now, if you need to report a bug or error, we have some contact information listed here for you on the home page of the Data Hub. Um, and that would be, you know, just an easy click to our um, table coordinator, our Tableau coordinator here. Also, if you have any suggestions, are we missing any information you'd like to see? Would you like to verify a statistic? Let us know. And of course, if you need this data in an alternative text format, you can email us and you're always welcome to call. That's 602-542-8970. Thanks for watching.